Hi friends, welcome back to a new video in Karate UI automation series. So in this video, I will show you how we can take the screenshot of a web page while running the script using this Karate tool. And also how to take the screenshot of a particular web element in the page. And also if you want to take the screenshot only on the failures, so how to achieve that so those things i'll be showing in this video before um, going to the video if you're watching my channel without subscribing i request you to please uh, subscribe so let's go to the video so it's a simple test that we used in our previous videos we use this chrome driver here now and we are launching a website amazon and we are maximizing the window and waiting for uh, one second let me just run this so it open the chrome browser and it will hit amazon url it will maximize the window and then it will wait for one second and it will automatically closes the window fine so uh, now uh, suppose we want to take the screenshot of the page so there is a function screenshot a simple function you can just put a screen uh, star or any other cucumber choking keyboard then type screenshot let's run it now so the test is passed the screenshot would take how to see that screenshot so let's go to the target folder let me refresh it and if you open the target folder since we are using the cucumber html reports you can go to the cucumber html reports folder and open the upper uh, overview features.html as usual open with so you can see the test is passed and if you expand it you will be able to see the screenshot embedded to this uh, particular report you can see the attachment over here and you will be able to see the report see the you can scroll left and right but you can't scroll down so it is actually uh, you can see if we open amazon website right so when you open this amazon website you can see only this many uh, elements are visible in our uh, view page right in the viewport only if you scroll down you can see the other web elements so when you take the screenshot only the viewport will be available in your report only this much section okay so the same page will be available here uh, if you want to take the full screen i mean full page we have another methods uh, driver dot screenshot full but that will be uh, our uh, applicable i mean that will be useful only when we use type equal to chrome okay and that uses the chrome java api so that i will show you in a some different video so here i'll be showing how to take the screenshot of this viewport and next we will take some of this web element and we will take the screenshot of that particular web element okay here actually you don't have to write it in multiple lines even you can use in this way also okay in a single line now next we want to give some uh, we want to take the screenshot of a particular web element so that web element uh, path the x path you can expand css let any locator you can give it inside this bracket so let me just give uh, let me take this web element path of any element so i'm using a, a x path okay text computers and here we can put it now it will take the screenshot of only on the computers element let's run it the test is passed now if you refresh the uh, report now the time should be changed so if you open the expand the steps you will be able to see the uh, screenshot is taken only for the computers web element right now all these uh, screenshots would be available in your target folder in the 
Kokuma inside the H Kokumar HTML reports, if you open this embeddings folder, you will be able to see the screenshot here. Okay. And this is the order one. Let me refresh this folder and you will be able to see the second screenshot as well. So all the screenshots you will be able to see in the embeddings folder. Now I will show you how to take the screenshot only on the failures. Okay, so uh, we know uh, we have a background keyword and cucumber uh, um, automation frameworks. Let's say if there is any failure occurs, then if you're configuring something in the background, the background section would be executed. So what we can do, we will wait for. Uh, let me comment this particular line and let's wait for some element which is not available in the web page okay so let me just give some abc so hope there is no uh, web element with id called abc so the test should the test would be failing so we can't put any screenshot uh, line after the statement because it would be failed at this particular step and all other steps would be skipped right so we can configure these kind of things anything on the failure in the background section let me just configure that we have a karate hoops concept that comes under the karate api so we can use the same thing configure after scenario so this you can go through the karate hooks concept after scenario and let me just write a function now let me uh, write a variable and let me store the karate dot info into that particular variable so what will be the karate dot info to print out something inside this function you cannot use print statement instead you can use karate dot log okay karate dot log of if i put something info let's see what is being printed over here uh for now we'll comment this also let's see what is available in the karate dot log of info so you can see the karate dot log is being printed here the test is passed okay scenario is passed and karate dot log has this many data available error message feature directory scenario type scenario description scenario name and feature file name all these are available in the karate dot log and we want only this particular field which is called error message so you can see the error message is null because our test is passed this case so the error message is null now what we can do we will make our test to fail and then we will see what is the error message it is actually waiting for some uh, element which is not present in the web page so the test should fail so the test is being failed and you can see the error message of it is being failed and you can see the reason over there also you can see some content in the error message field screenshot dot feature evaluation has failed wait for abc failed after three retries right so the error message is not null so we we so now we uh, go to know if the test is fail we have some content in the error message the error message is not null right so based on that we are going to uh, write a function to take the screenshot what we are going to do in the next step we can take only the error uh, based on the error message condition right to take only the error message what you can do info dot and info has too many variables so we need only error message field it's something like when you uh, how to take uh, I mean, traversing through the json right so if you want to take uh, any json field you will be putting a dot after that the field name so since info uh, variable has all these data or you can directly put karate dot info 
dot error message right so info dot error message if info dot error message then what we will do we will take the screenshot driver dot screenshot let's uh, delete our existing uh, screenshot file it's not uh, actually needed but let's see if it is taking the screenshot now let's run our file now test would be fail and it will take the screenshot let's wait for the test to complete and now let let us run uh, refresh this file the test is fail and you can see the screenshot here attachment in the screenshot and you can see the failure also wait for abc screenshot feature evaluation has failed wait for abc so this happens only if the test is failed right uh, because we have defined the configure the configuration as for after scenario so whatever we have uh, written here it will be executed after the scenario so uh, we have uh, given uh, to uh, based on the condition if info dot error means karate dot info dot error message if the data is not null we will take the driver dot screenshot the data would be not null if the test is failed and when the test is the, when the test passes then there won't be any screenshot because it will come to this uh, after scenario section and info dot error message would be null so uh, it won't take the screenshot let's see that case also so in this case the test is passed and let's refresh our report So there is no test steps is failed and there is no screenshot has been taken. Okay. And uh, regarding to this uh, if loop, I hope you are aware of uh, if loop conditions in JavaScript. So if there is a, if there is any content in this if uh, the it would go inside this loop and it would be executed. Uh, if the content is null, it won't be executed, right? Or uh, uh, if you want, I'll show you an example. You can go to the any of the uh, online editor that will show the JavaScript if else statement. And it is actually checking some condition instead of this what we will do. We will put a string. So it's a, an empty string, right? So if you do, uh, you will get good evening. That means the condition is false. And if you have some content in the string, then this condition should be true. And you will get good day and also if you put null here then you can see address good evening is printed because it will go to the else loop the condition would be false so I hope you have enjoyed this video so in this video actually we learn how to take the screenshot how to take the screenshot of a particular web element and also we launch one more uh, extra advanced topic that is karate whose concept after scenario and how to take the screenshot on this failure so if you have enjoyed this video please do click the like button and also please do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching we will see with another feature in my next video bye